Takata lies in the northwest of Yamagata Prefecture. Here, the Mogami River meets the Japan Sea. It's a port town that has prospered since long ago as the launch point for ships traveling westward. The sweeping Shonai Plain spreads out behind it, and sacred Mount Chokai, towering above, looks down on the fruitful plain. And here is the remarkable island Tobishima, floating off the Japan Sea coast. Nature, culture, history, will introduce the many attractions Sakata has to offer. In spring, Hiyoyama Park is the popular spot to view cherry blossoms. This park overlooks the Japan Sea and many people come here to see the approximately 500 cherry trees in bloom. At night, a replica of a type of cargo ship called Sengokubune and the lighthouse are lit up, making a beautiful silhouette. Various traditional events take place in different areas as the first buds of spring make their appearance. This event, called Yabusame, takes place at Hachiman Shrine, Young men dressed as warriors shoot arrows from horseback at a target to appeal for an abundant crop. Matsuyama is an old castle town which once belonged to the Matsuyama clan. Musha Gyoretsu, an event which takes place at Nakayama Shrine, brings back the town's samurai past. Many people turn out to watch the parade. The Ogino-style rifle brigade revived the artillery force of the Matsuyama clan which was active at the end of the Edo period. A dynamic military demonstration is given at this Matsuyama festival. The Sakata festival has been held annually since the Edo period at Hie Shrine. It is said it began in the 14th year of the Keicho period, so this festival has been held without fail for over 400 years. Don't miss the parade of colorful floats. Visitors enjoy the energy of the event, which is indicative of the spirit of Sakata. <laughs> These giant shishi are symbols of Sakata. Lions have long been considered sacred beasts who ward off evil. Mothers and fathers holding their small children scramble to reach the giant shishi. Going to these lengths, the children are sure to be blessed. I Moriyama Park lies about three kilometers to the southwest of the city center. In early summer, the approximately 15,000 hydrangea fill the park. We recommend taking a stroll around the pond. This park is one of the best hydrangea parks in Japan. Matsuyama no began about 300 years ago when the feudal lord residing in Edo learned the art and in time it spread to the town. Every June, Takigi no is performed in front of Odemon Gate in the light of a bonfire, making for a fantastic sight. A parade of people dancing to a high-spirited rhythm winds through downtown Sakata. It's a summer tradition and one of the port festival's lively scenes. The new musical arrangement, called S. Jink, has an upbeat tempo popular with the young crowd. And here is the highlight of the festival. Large flowers of light decorate the night sky at the mouth of the Mogami River. Don't miss Star Mine, considered the best fireworks display over water in Northeast Japan. Now, let's look at a traditional winter event. This is Kuromori Kabuki, 
performed by the local farmers in Kuramori since the Edo period. Because it is performed outdoors in February, the audience braves cold, snowy weather to watch. Spring has come again to Sakata and brings with it Hina dolls. In Sakata, which once had a lively trade with Edo and Osaka, there are many old historical Hina dolls from the Edo period that have been carefully preserved. In early spring, these Hina dolls are all put on display. These Kasafuku dolls are unique to Sakata. Each are hand-sewn and hung from a parasol to pray for the health of girls. If you're good with your hands, why not try making one yourself? Masudare Falls is said to have been discovered by a Buddhist priest who was told of its existence by a god. Standing at 63 meters, it is the biggest waterfall in the prefecture. Its name is derived from the sparkling drops of water that stream down. In spring and summer, it's lit up, creating a magical scene. In midwinter, the fall freezes. Its mysterious bluish translucence mesmerizes those who gaze at it. Juni Waterfall is another of Sakata's popular and well-known falls. Its numerous streams of water flow nestled among a forest of trees. Although beautiful against the fresh greenery of spring or the green leaves of summer, this waterfall appears even more alluring in autumn among the colorful leaves. Chokai Family Village is situated at the foot of Mount Chokai at an elevation of 500 meters. At this resort, you can stay in a cabin or a treehouse or enjoy the many activities available for the whole family, such as ground golf, camping, and mountain stream fishing. This is Chokai no Mori, and its name means the forest that gazes on the sea. This nature reserve is located on a hill spanning between Matsuyama and Hirata. There are many places here to have fun and learn about nature, such as the Forestry Information Center and the Cosmos Dome Observatory. The view from this hill, which looks down over the Shonai Plain and the Japan Sea, is one of the best scenic spots in Shonai. If you truly want to experience Shonai, how about putting on a hankotana and trying your hand at planting rice? This type of traditional farming can only be encountered in an area like Shonai, which is well known for its rice. Of course, not only can you experience planting rice, but you can also try harvesting it here at Hirata. After the harvest, have your fill of rice balls made with newly harvested rice. Sankyo Soko, a rice storehouse, was built in 1893 to store shonai rice. It sits under the shade of tall zelkova trees that are over 130 years old and the building itself is still being used today, despite being over 100 years old. This is the Shonai Rice Historical Museum, which is part of the storehouse. Sakata's newest sightseeing attraction, Sakata Yume no Kura, was opened at Sankyo Soko. Inside the storehouse is Sachi no Yakata, where you can dine or browse in the souvenir shop, and Hana no Yakata, a museum where you can learn about Sakata's history and culture. This museum was created under the direction of the puppeteer, Tsujimura Jusaburo. You can enjoy to your heart's content the numerous dolls and his other creations on display.
This pleasure boat sails down the Nida River, which runs alongside Sankyo Soko. It arrives and departs at Sakata Port, and the cruise takes about one hour. Across from Sankyo Soko is a stone walkway. Let's take a leisurely walk and learn about Sakata's history along the way. Seven minutes walk from Sankyo Soko is the historic Homa residence. Homa was a wealthy landowner. He was so well known that his riches were mentioned in song. The home is an unusual mix of two construction styles the traditional style of Japanese architecture for a samurai home and the merchant style of architecture for a business. From there, a two-minute walk brings you to the historic Abumia residence. Abumia was an extremely wealthy shipping agent who was noted in Ihara Saikaku's Japanese treasury of the ages. This building gives us a glimpse into life in the Edo period. It has a stone roof and is constructed in a style typical of Japanese shops at that time. Walk about 10 minutes from Abumia and you'll arrive at Somoro, an historical building that tells of Sakata's colorful culture. Established in the Edo period, it was a traditional Japanese-style restaurant and now serves as a tea house and showcase for Maiko dancers. On the second floor, you can enjoy a meal and the charming dances performed by the Sakata Maiko. Continue along the hill up to Hiroyama and you'll come to San no Mori. Here you'll find Kokyu Bunko Library and historical landmarks related to the Homa family. Right next to these woods is the well-known temple Kaikoji, which is said to have been established by a great Buddhist teacher. There are two mummies enshrined in this temple. The end of the historical walking tour brings you to Hiroyama Park, overlooking Sakata Port. This park is a symbol of Sakata, and here you'll find one of the oldest six-sided lighthouses in Japan, and a replica of the Sengoku Bune ship. You'll also find here 29 statues of historical figures, such as Matsuo Basho, who visited Sakata. Called the Path of Literature, it is one of Sakata's noted sites. The burning sun, it has washed into the sea, Mogami River. The Homa Museum was once a second residence for the Homa family and was used as a guest house. Mount Chokai was visible from Kakubuen Garden, which has a winding garden path. You can also enjoy the Seiyengaku building, constructed in Kyoto style. Both historical and contemporary works of art are on display. Sakata Art Museum is located on a hill overlooking the city. Art by leading Japanese painters, such as Morita Shigeru and Sakata's own oil painter, Saito Chozo, and the sculptor, Takahashi Go, are on permanent display. World-renowned photographer Domonken was from Sakata. Here at the Domonken Museum of Photography, all 70,000 of the photographer's works are on display including photos taken of famous temples. Abe Memorial Museum was the home of Abe Jiro, who authored the novel that influenced so many young Japanese, The Diary of Santaro. Inside are letters he penned and materials honoring the achievements of his nephew, Noboru, a bioecologist. This is Otemon Gate, a castle ruin remaining from the rule of the Matsuyama clan. Mythical carp made of bronze are perched atop the roof, attesting to the grandeur of that era.